last year the uh, idea came up that we would try and bring the band down here and that was to accomplish two things. One was the band could accomplish their training um, here and give them experience and opportunities. The other thing is it fit and nested nicely with the security cooperation goals and that's to strengthen partnerships, show um, an outreach from the New Hampshire National Guard, not just to the military, but to the people of El Salvador. And music was a great way to do this. Um, it's music, in a sense, is bilingual. So we, uh, not everybody from the New Hampshire National Guard can speak Spanish, and that's okay, because we're learning each other's culture. But I'll tell you what, it didn't matter what language they were singing up there, they were able to um, to express their gratitude and their feelings for this country um, through music, and it was it was a great opportunity. Based on my experience last time I was in El Salvador, I knew the people of El Salvador were a giving and a very just generous and nice people um, who love music. So it was awesome to see my soldiers get to see that and see how much uh, the Salvadoran people appreciate music, how much they appreciate live music. Um, how much they appreciated our soldiers to uh, try to talk to them in Spanish and try to understand them and, and to see the faces of our soldiers stand on the stage and look out across and realize that whether we're in El Salvador, whether we're in the United States, it's the same group of people that are out there just enjoying music. Um, and they got to see that and it was, it was great. Um, for me, my, the favorite part was to watch uh, when they got off the stage and everybody asking for pictures and autographs and um, and our soldiers just they were making uh, opportunities for people to to create an impression with them and and to create a moment and it was um, it was beautiful it was awesome I I I guess I can measure the success and just considering the the amount of satisfaction that we brought to all these people and it was you could see that on their faces they were all smiling they were all happy to see us and afterwards they were all very appreciative. They came to us, they shake our hands, they took a bunch of pictures with us uh, and they were all just extremely happy that we were there. I was on stage with Ambassador when, when she came on, on the stage to sing with us. It was it was awesome. Yeah, I was playing guitar and she I guess she got in, in the mood of hey let's 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 improvise something and she picked a song and we made it work and, and it was just fun. And, and as he was shaking my hand, he got super emotional, telling me that this is the best day he's had in a very, very long time. And he was thanking the band for making that happen, that he was just extremely happy to be there watching us play and, and seeing all these people happy for one time and in a couple hours of happiness and everybody was just enjoying, having a great time. And he said he has not seen that in a long time and, and that just made him so happy. And, he was crying. He was crying like a little guy. So that was very emotional, yeah. His name was Jaime. I remember his name, Jaime, and, and we took a selfie afterwards. Um, I'm going to remember this person.